At last, Sima Zhao had rid himself of indecision. After suppressing Zhuge Dan's rebellion, Sima Zhao returned to Luoyang and calmly prepared for his next move. He wrested all authority away from the Wei Emperor, Cao Mao. It was not out of resentment for the time he had been sequestered in Xuchang. And it was not because Cao Mao had orchestrated Zhuge Dan's rebellion. He had simply decided to accept the responsibility of uniting the land and bringing an end to the chaos. In the face of Sima Zhao's decisive actions, the last scraps of Wei's power were driven into a corner. And so, Cao Mao set out on one final gambit. Zhao's intentions are now known to all in the land. I will not sit here and wait for death. I will kill him and reclaim Wei. Stand your ground! Traitor! <sighs> so this is the Emperor's answer. A pity. My lord. It is time for us to go and pay His Imperial Majesty a visit. Okay, let's get this thing started. on top of the castle walls. If we can secure it, we could take out their artillery. Our defenses are sound. We can withstand any attack. Try and stop me. This is our chance, my lord. Please clear the area of enemy forces. Suma Chow. This 
way, my lord. You can enter the palace through here. The trap. We have to find some way out. I must stand by his highness. I must remain loyal. I will have to live with the fact that I have killed the Emperor until the day I die. And history will record me as a killer. But I will take this responsibility, and I will see it through. <laughs> <laughs> 